very, very unusual gabbros. The textures have strange orbicular textures. They're variable in texture. They, they almost look like the sorts of um, variable textured rocks you'd see in a Nerilsk-type setting, where that these textures are termed taxitic. There were people who knew about nickel deposits and enough about nickel deposits to look at those rocks and go, wow, that's a very unusual gabbro. Some people said, well, it looks like the sorts of gabbros in association with lactazeal, for example. Um, there was a, a recognition of the importance of that rock. And so we, we found that rock very early on when we were uh, working up at surface on Nickel Mountain, and it's a uniform rock that we're seeing systematically in association with the, the inel intrusion, and it was nice to be able to convey the importance of that because it's the principal host of the disseminated types of sulfide. And a, lo a lot of people are really interested in that. It's a, it's a messaging for, for further exploration in the SK area. If you find the right gabbros, then you're in business. Speaking of the gabbroic rocks, uh, what you've noted, what you've discovered is they've also got a high magnesium yeah. content. Uh, what is the significance of that? Okay, there's a lot of geochemistry started on these rocks now and um, um, the, um, the information has given us an idea about the internal geometry of the ENL intrusion. Um, what we're seeing are a range of rocks all the way from leucogabros right the way through to quite olivine-rich gabbros. The olivine-rich gabbro is approaching 20% magnesium oxide, which is preciously close to being an ultramafic rock. The leucogabros on the other end of the spectrum are down around 5% MGO. So this is a heavily differentiated intrusion. Differentiated intrusions are the types of intrusions you find in association with nickel deposits in most of the other um, um, structurally related um, uh, deposits, for example, the Chinese deposits, the, um, the Norilsk deposits. Um, basically, name your, name your deposit and you will typically find a series of differentiated rocks. In fact, differentiated rocks are sort of part of the toolbox of nickel exploration. So that's a rather key feature and it was good to see it um, confirmed by the uh, whole rock geochemistry and also by the uh, presence of nice um, fresh olivines sitting within, uh, within uh, the olivine gabbros in thin section.